What's up, YouTube? Here today we're working on the 2010 Chevrolet uh, Express 2500. And today we are changing all spark plugs and wires. So here's all the four right here and then the four on the other side. Main reason I was doing this job is because his uh, AC controls weren't working, but it's because this hose right here is broken. And it's all dry rotted down there. So he doesn't get any vacuum. So we can change. Oh, you can see right there like how it's broken. Yeah. Probably rubbing. And it's old. So he doesn't, his AC doesn't work when, like, when he tries to turn it on. It just blows through the, through the defrost setting only. And it's because it's uh, vacuum controlled. You need that hose to be good. But since we're gonna be in here, he wants to change all the spark plugs and wires, which is a good idea. He doesn't know. This car has like 250,000. These are the old ones. So yeah, pretty good idea to change it while we're in here. So yeah, to get to here, you gotta take the doghouse out and the chair. Makes it a lot easier. Here's all these 18 for the chair, four of them. And then basically just 10 millimeters, just two nuts on each plastic side. Take those off. Just hold them by clips after you take the two tens. And then take the chair out. And then you take uh, four tens for the, for the dog house. Take this out. Those tens that go in there, it touches to there. And get access to the four hooks. One, two, three, four. And then you just pull it out. And you basically get what I'm looking at now. So I'm gonna go finish uh, unplugging these four wires and changing them. Putting new spark plugs in. These come with these protective shields, so you don't want to pry on that. You just want to pull on the boot. Because you don't want to damage the, the metal protective sleeve. So just keep pulling the boot. I mean, mine ripped. First one I did. Yeah, I can tell these wires are old. But just get some vice grips or some pliers on the edge real good. And just twist, twist, and pull. And then it should come off. It will come off usually with the protective sleeve attached. Because it kind of clicks into the protective sleeve. And then just separate them. Find the same size wire. And remove the spark plug. I'm using this magnetic one. Makes it a lot easy. You can get in there in different angles. You could just use a small one. But I might have to use that for one of the ones in the back. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I might be able to do it with just this one. I'll let you guys know. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Yeah, you can see this one. Uh, the wire broke too. but so You just get some vice grips on it. And it'll come out like that. And it should separate. Just a sleeve. And then you put the new boot in there. And then you attach it to the new spark plug. Your spark plug. See, so yeah, I should be able to just. See? Just get it in there. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so my, uh, my phone fell and I hit the power button. So it's not filming, but yeah, it loosened it, broke loose. Here you go. You can see right there. Alright, so it's a pretty good idea to change these. You didn't have no misfires or anything, but look at the electro. It's getting worn down. Let's see if I can compare this to a new one. Double iridium. And then the, these are the wires that chose to go. I mean, they come with lifetime warranty, so if they ever fail or anything, you can just replace them. Swap them out at the parts store. So let's see if we can get some of these. You always want to be careful too when you open these. You don't want this to drop because the ceramic can actually break and crack inside. And you won't even know. You'll have like a misfire. Oh, yeah, look. Look at the difference. 
difference. Only short. See that's it. I know this one. Let's see if we get these two a lot. This one, man. See the electro is almost like worn down right here. He would have had a misfire. Probably had a couple thousand miles, like ten thousand miles. That's why you want to change them. Especially since we're already in here, I mean it's pretty easy. You want to do all that work to get to the engine. I'll go replace everything. Of course, if you have the funds available. But it's good. She last them and like this is ancient. It's pretty good. A little seepage, but nothing too crazy. You know, this side looks shiny. Man. Really good engine. As long as you change your oil, should be good. I mean, yeah, then take my leak one day, but. And like I said, he doesn't have any problems at the moment. And take gaskets, but or lower it, take gaskets, but it should it should be good right now. Dude. Engines can last well over three hundred thousand easy. Change your oil, coolant, and your golden spark plugs. All right, guys. Let me finish this job. I'll do this side, and I'll move over to the other side. Okay, so for the last two. I did have to get my my small one and a small extension. Cause the mountain part is gonna be in the way. I mean I was able to break the third one loose, but I didn't want to play with the third one because you don't want to snap these off. But like this, the, I already placed the second one right there. And I installed the wires so I could have like space to work with. And I was able to get the last one because it's uh oh your dipstick is in the way, so you're gonna have to play. Uh, attention and then I just uh like I said I put my little vice grips on the bottom put the the, the bottom first out for the fourth one over there in the back and then I just pulled and this one came off from the top there's like no space for here it's like actually like touching the dipstick so I didn't want to lose it I have like this last one pretty much no electro though Hey, wow. He's probably gonna get way better gas mileage. Look at that. One, two, three. Four. The last one doesn't even have anything. That sounds a really good idea. He will probably have a misfire, so. If not, he probably have one, but. He probably didn't notice. Okay, so we're almost done with this side. Just gotta put a new last spark plug in the last one and then the two wires and we'll be done this and then we'll we want the other. Okay guys, all four wires and spark plugs are changed. They're in. See that's what I was talking about. It's pretty hard. You have to get like two fingers at the bottom and two fingers at the top. Make sure it clicks. And I think these have actually like two clicks because like I clicked in and I pushed the horn and I clicked again so just make sure you're seated right you don't want to have any loose cables and then the same thing for the bottom make sure you reinstall the shields the heat shields and push them in make sure they click and, they, and these new ones actually came with these so maybe that'll help the wire last longer because the other ones the wires were like Heat stressed, and I mean, they're pretty old. Here's the four spark plugs. The one on the back was over. They probably never changed that one. <laughs> so. Alright, guys. I will work on the other side. Hopefully, the other side's a little easier. I'm not sure. You could probably also get the spark plugs by jacking up the car, taking the wheel off, and accessing it through the side, but. I'll find right here. So for the back ones I did, this one, this one, spark plug socket, with the wobble and the little small extension. It's probably like three inch. It has like a three inch, two inch. It's like a three inch, I think. 
And then you just want to make sure once you're putting the spark plugs in, thread them in by hand. You don't want to strip anything. Because that's the last thing you want, strip. I don't want to strip the spark plug in the engine, so. There you go. Take this side. I'm going to do the other side. And then I actually already going to hook the hose. Kind of fell down there. I'm going to be able to get it out from the front once I remove the battery tray. So I'm going to work on the other side. And let's see how that goes. Hopefully it's a lot easier than this side. Just because this uh, dipstick was in the way. Alright guys, so this side was pretty easy. So I was able to get the three in here. And unplug them off from in here. And even pull it out. But for the last one, I'm doing it in the front. There you go, the new plugs in. Just gotta put the wires, but I wanted to get all the plugs out. I also want to pay that shape. Plugs are still running. So that's four, seven. Like I said, the last one I'm getting out from the outside. So right here. Just because you got a lot of space right there. Like I said, you could probably get them through the tire, but I didn't bring my jack today, so I'm able to do that. I just removed this breather with the arrow for a time. I just removed this so I can see the condition. But it could come up all of these. Just loosen the clamp right there. This one right here. Loosen that clamp, you know, one plug, and the two tens, two tens, go right here, and just pull that whole thing off, and then you have good access right here, and actually he was able to get the hose out that we're going to replace, on why he doesn't have the vacuum, and look at this thing, it's just dry right, so this one connects to the engine, and it goes all the way, to this T right here. Goes in right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. So it goes right there in this T. And this holds. Uh, where did it go? Let's see. Should take it out of the little thing. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be route through there. And then it comes out and it actually goes into this. Ball right here, and it'll plug in right there underneath the uh, this battery post. You can actually see the boat right there, and that boat's it right there. So, this will go under the battery tray. But I had it removed, I mean, because it wasn't working already. The problem was this hose that goes to the engine, it had no vacuum, obviously, it's all broken. Driver, look at that. You want to see through it? Alright, so yeah, I'm almost done with this spark plug. But just because I, I don't want to wrench because my, I don't got my glove on right now. But yeah, you can just get the, the plug loose. I did unplug that sensor right here for the AC. Cause I didn't want to crush it. Just so I could have some wiggle room right here. So yeah, I'ma just finish taking this off. That's the all the wires. Just one more plug left. That plug and then all the four wires. Then we'll get to replace this hose. Then she'll be good. All right, guys. See you guys soon. All right, guys. Almost all the wires are in. All three in the mat. One, two. And the last one right now. So this one I'm talking about. This thing has like two clicks. So you gotta make sure it seats on right. Look. See if you can hear it. One. And then look, okay, you keep pushing, it's gonna click again. Right there too. You saw that? So yeah, just make sure they both click twice because 
You don't want to have it loose. Only spark plugs are in the floor. I'm floor this side. So I guess I just uh, go check everything. So the top one clicks twice. The spark plug should click once. You should feel it. And once they click, you should be able to tug on them a little bit and they shouldn't come off. You'll, you'll feel a little play because of the spring that the heat shield comes with. And once they're in, they're in. And yeah, no more. Yeah, they're all in. All these spark plugs and wires. All right. Let's see. Okay. There you go. And just don't forget to plug this little guy in. Okay. She's plugged in. Right there. It's for the AC, I think. And then right here, you guys can always clean that. Throttle, uh, throttle body cleaner. Right. Should be golden for now. Okay, guys, I'm gonna look at the new holes for this. I actually bought one, but I don't think it's wide enough. This one looks like it's a way. I don't know, this looks like three. It's about like 30 seconds, and it's gonna be too small. Yeah, it's gonna be way too small for this. So I'm gonna, hold, I'm gonna have to go bring you homes and the job will be finished. I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right guys, everything has been installed. Once you're sure you could crank the engine. Make sure everything's running good. Yeah, nice and smooth. It yeah, looks pretty good. Only thing we gotta change is this hose right here. Look at that noise. The vacuum. Yeah. Sounds really healthy. We'll get that hole. And that will be 100%. Alright guys, so I just finished replacing that broken holes and this truck has 233,000 it does flow cold now the front lens here right now okay nice air all of that nice looking Connected. It actually connects with the T down here. Put everything back together. Actually, see how it rubs. Chevy uh, 2010 4.8 liter V8 with the uh, Harris Flex fuel. It could run on E85 or regular gas. I just gotta put the whole everything back the doghouse, the chair, it'll be good. Alright, guys, this was a good video. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.